Welcome back to Factorio with me, JD, and we're here. We've got, we've, we've we've got them hooked up. We've got them built. You know, there's there's no coal on them yet. There's there's no, no lots of things yet. Um, and I just realised that all their coal belts are gonna have to be turned around because they're really running the wrong way. We really want to bring in the coal from the top, not from the bottom. Um. from the end uh, straight through uh, yeah pre-plan before you just dump down blueprints JD pre-plan pre-plan uh, that goes to there that goes to there that goes to there two tiles before the end That's that part fixed. All right. So any coal, which is here, basically. Yeah. I'm gonna just take it right after that and just run it across and down. Let's do that. Let's let's just do it rather than talk about it. Um. I mean, it really doesn't matter, I'm just building over everything else. It'll, it'll all get fixed later on when the other ones actually get placed. Uh, I'll come back for that. Those, those abstract pieces of belt later. Uh, oh, that way. Now, if you notice, that stone belt right above us is just about dead. And there is no backup stone. Uh, Okay, so it's coal done. Uh, iron is going to come from our iron train, which is a whole different problem because that is a crap ton of belt. Uh, and our copper, same story, is going to come from this copper here. This is technically closer, but um, yeah. 66 belt. Yep, you can tell I was prepared. Um, anyway, logistic slots. So logistic slots lets us, when we have robots, which we still don't have, obviously, lets us say, hey, I want um, these delivered, and those delivered, and those delivered. So I stop running out of them. And the robots will just grab these, these items from the base, and drag them over, and then drop them very kindly into my inventory. Which is awesome. Uh, oh yes, iron. Yeah. I don't think I need quite. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna need more yellow belt now. Um, let's just give me the whole box. I'll convert the landfill stone furnaces, which we'll have to get rid of later. Actually, whoa! Speaking of furnaces, nope, we still haven't hit our power quota. Good. Uh, got some miners on me, not many, but some. That'll be some more. All right, just want to get rid of this patch. It's it's in the middle of the train track, which is just embarrassing. Let's be honest. So yeah, logistics slots are going to be awesome when we get robots, which, you know, I'm hoping are right around the corner, and then things are not happening as fast as I'd like. Which is probably a good thing, because if they happen as fast as I'd like, the game would be over in 
in, in, in two hours. No, actually, we go from start to end game within an hour. Um, so research-wise, we're going to do trash slots, which is same. Well, the opposite of a logistics slot. It says, "Hey bots, I don't want this shit. Take it away now." Uh huh. There's going to be a certain amount of um lack of room to move around here. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to go underground belt. Underground belt. I'm going to get hit by train. See it now. Uh, underground belt. Okay, see, that, that fast replace thing is getting to me. Uh, power pole. Hey, train. That was a little bit slower than I expected, actually. So I expected to come roaring through at full speed. Uh, maybe that was full speed. Power. No, don't need quite that many power poles. Just something to hook up to. Anything. Don't mind. Want all the miners to kick in action. Alright. Bring this down. This down. Underground the ammo because it's the cheaper the two two undergrounds. Uh, okay. We want copper over here. That's a coal bill. Uh, right there. That's where we need to go. Of course, we kink out for something, so I'm going to kink the belt out as well. <sighs> so the only good news is that all these train stations will actually get moved up into here um, for quicker and easier and less belts in the unload. Um, Bad news is we'll have to redesign the whole thing when we get that far. Uh, grenades. Go away, tree. Still alive, still alive, still alive. It's fine, it's fine. It's all fine. It's all good. There's the magic belt we're looking for. Uh, Okay, two grenades left. Make them count, should do? No, it didn't really count. Um, I guess we're going to start off modules research. Like I said, we're flying through the tech, and we're not even running at full pace. If I actually went up... Well, let's actually go up and look at science. Um, one, two, three assemblers are running. One, two, three... Oh, four are running. So we're at four of six. So what's that? Four six, whatever that is as a percentage, because I can't work that maths at the moment. Um, not a lot. will give us a belt. It's not even going to be a full red belt output, it'll be a yellow belt output of copper. And the only way we go up to red belt is replacing all this yellow with actual red belt. Uh, that's a little bit expensive for us to do right this second. Mm, I don't even know if I actually have that much red belt in existence. So that's one down. Iron's the next one. Now we're taking two irons and feeding them straight into steel. We're taking two irons, converting them to a red belt and feeding them into iron. Um, ideally...
Ideally, I would split off one of the ones doing steel. The question is how to get to it. Alright, oh, it's here. Okay, so we need to run it through there. Oh, that's not too hard. Go no, of course not. Does that actually pull up? No. We found a fault with the quick replace. It didn't quick replace anything. Uh, merge, pull off. Uh, hang on. So if I take modules finished. Okay. If I take a belt. Nope. I take a belt off there and a belt off there. In theory, so we merge the two together just so they're balanced. Okay. Um, I've then taken fifty percent off this belt, and then I've taken fifty percent off this belt, and I've pushed both belts back together. So in theory, I'm only taking 50% off each line. In theory. I'm not making any promises to any of my maths today. Uh, we need a crap ton of those. Okay, we need a crap ton of electric circuits to build electric circuits. The irony. The irony. Oh! Yeah, I'm yawning. I'm yawning. It's been a long day. Uh, pop that in there. That in there. And put those in. What? Oh, I forgot to actually put that the green circuits. Put the green circuits. Um, okay. It's a somewhat healthy supply of inserters. Uh, of, of iron. No, we want those gears, then we'll do that. Then we want fast inserters, which is again an iron problem. Yeah, we're, we're still following the same theme. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, So that's modular armor. That's our first really big, really important upgrade as far as armor is concerned. That we can't afford to build. Sure, let's just do shotgun damage. Um, or maybe we just let research idle. So we can actually have some resources on some of these belts. That's probably a better idea, come to think about it. Okay, we have some inserters, we have some assembly machines, oh, it's time to actually go, or is it, oh, yep, it's time to actually go and get some of this stuff started. Because uh, we have some iron and some copper. It's not a vast amount of either, but it's some of each. Uh, okay. We want to make green circuits. Before we make green circuits, we mean to make copper. Copper uses one copper plate every half a second. So it's two copper plate a second. A red belt moves. 26.6, .6, so we need 13 at 13 machines. Our copper belt is dead. Uh, 12. 13. Okay. Uh, sure, let's do the next shotgun. Uh, really? I didn't bring any red belt down. Alright. 
So, all right, we can't even produce a full red belt's worth at the moment, so we're just, we're, we're building on the assumptions of what the final outcome is. Uh, copper cable, paste, um, okay, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, hmm, Seems an odd number. Um, okay. We've got 12 then. Just on principle. Um, there and there. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Uh, we want iron in. No, copy and paste. Like so. Uh, copy so let's do so let's iron that way uh, and green circuits that way as well do we want another iron? they use one iron every half a second so that's two iron no, I don't need a second iron Okay. Uh, red inserters there and there. Power pole there, there and there. Uh, there, there. There, there and there. Hook those up. Hook that up. Hook that up. Okay, with a power there and there. Uh, um, blueprint, all that. Start actually getting some decent scale down here. Now we're going to afford to start running some of this stuff. Still can't run a straight line. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Why do you have it? Oh, because I built over the power pole. Duh. Uh, On that one, that one, power pole there, power pole. Really? What am I stuck on? An invisible rock. Uh, that one, that one, that one. Oh. So the auto replace is nice, but it doesn't account for fat fingers at all. Or I can't click straight today. Uh, there, there. <gasps> and I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of those two. Okay. Uh, take that through and hook that up there. We're going to take our iron output. Go away, rock. Okay. So that, at the very, very basics, will get me some green chips. Um, I still need to bring in the whole separate copper, cake, copper line. Put more miners up here. Um, actually build a red circuit build. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, there's a bit to do. Uh, okay, what do I need? I just need to... No, I need the circuits. Uh, what do I need for a fast inserter? Absolutely nothing but time and patience. I have one of those two. Uh, put that into a box. Uh, in the meantime, in, 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 uh, out, 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 uh, nope, do not make green circuits by hand, we're just going to pick them up off our little assembly line. Who we need. Uh, we have iron. Uh, put that in there. So the north side's running, the south side literally just needs those pop down. And a copper smelting line fed in. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Two products, mate. Well, one product, mate. We need... We've got one to go. Which we will bootstrap literally just here somewhere. Um, we'll bring the plastic over. We, we will take the excess, eye, uh, the excess copper... Turn that into more circuits for um, more wire for advanced circuits, and we shall go get this copper. Is it damaged? Oh yeah, I was playing with belts, uh, explosive belts. That is uh, grenades. So yeah, um, we're gonna do all that in the next episode. Get some more copper. Get this baby up and running. Get some advanced circuits pumping out because robots are definitely my short-term answer. Um, some slow as buggery robots to build more smelting arrays. Um, what else do we need? That's really the input. Oh, and train tracks. Robots are really good at putting down train tracks. Um, but yeah, as always, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. Um, down the bottom comment section, leave your comments, leave your thoughts, leave your questions. Um, and meanwhile, we're getting really, 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 really close to 2018. So, yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Alright, bye!